Hello guys, so this will be a tutorial on how to play mobile based poker apps using emulators. So an emulator allows us to play multiple tables on our PC. The process is very simple. All we have to do is download the APK file for the poker app, drag it onto the desktop within the emulator. But before that, we need to download the emulator first. And right now, the most commonly used emulator for playing poker and mobile games is called LD Player. So first, we need to download LD Player. And please select English before you download, because if you don't, it's going to default to Chinese, uh, since this is a Chinese software. Next, we will use Poker Time as an example on how to set up. So you can either go to the official site, or you can access the download through logbet365.com and click on um, download APK. So there you go. This is the official site, uh, pokertime.cc. Now click on APK download. The download should take about uh, a few minutes. I think it's around 50 M MBs. Um, once, you're, once you're ready, you should have these three shortcuts. Um, the first two being LD player and the third being poker time. And I want you to click on LD multiplayer. And you're gonna see now this is this is the um, the desktop for your emulator for your mobile emulator and I want you to drag poker time the APK onto the desktop and once you see the poker time icon pop up that means the installation is complete so you can go ahead and click on it and this is gonna launch the, the app and there you go um, that means you successfully installed poker time and now I want you to exit and I'm gonna show you uh, a few settings that you can do and also how to set up for multi-table so click on the little wheel uh, settings go to advanced go to mobile and I want you to click on 1080 times 1920 uh, DPI 480 and next for CPU we recommend one or two cores um, if you have a really nice PC uh, if you have like a high-end gaming PC I don't think this matters at all you can go ahead and go to four cores I think that's gonna make your animation smoother but for people who, let's say you bought your laptop within the last year, and let's say um, it's not a gaming, it's not a gaming PC or laptop, and you want maximum stability, then we, we definitely recommend one or two cores. Uh, it's the same for memory, so we recommend going three, uh, two gigs. And also on a side note, if you want to play up to four tables, eight gigs of RAM is actually pretty decent. However, if you want to go, let's say for like 10, 16 tables, then we heavily recommend getting, um, having a PC with at least 16 gigs of RAM. So once you've done all that, uh, click on new clone, right? And then I want you to click on that, repeat the process three times. Each time you do that, it's going to replicate uh, the initial one that you just set up. So after you're going to done all that, you, now you will have four tables ready. Now, now you're going to be ready for uh, for some four tabling action so you can click on start for all of them it's going to launch four tables it's going to launch four um, windows in the background and you can click on align windows and this is going to align it nicely for you to uh, for you to uh, multi-table and you should be able to see poker time now in all four uh, desktop backgrounds so you can go ahead now you're ready for uh, four tabling poker time all right um and yeah, this is pretty much it. And um, one thing I would like to mention is sometimes when when the app um, updates itself, you might run into some compatibility issues with the emulator. So let's say if Poker Time updates and for some reason it's, it doesn't launch, a usual quick fix is going to the LD Player official site and downloading and installing a previous version of the of the uh, emulator that would usually resolve the problem all right guys one last thing i want to mention so when you want to type within the uh the, the app so let's say if you want to chat or if you want to input your uh, your user login um so click on the area right so click on the area and once you start typing sometimes you don't see um you don't see anything that's because whatever you're typing it appears at the bottom of the screen as you can see right here all right so that is your hyperlink it's not gonna appear sometimes it won't appear here it, like it, it's for some reason it's gonna appear here so after you're done typing you click enter and yeah this is gonna recognize it so don't get confused by that and I guess that's all I have to say about um, setting up emulators so thanks for watching guys